<coughs> Today we are going to learn about the origin of the cranial nerves. As we know that there are 12 cranial nerves and uh, from these 12, two cranial nerves, number one and two, what we call that olfactory, which should be present over there, and the second one, what we call that optic nerve, these two are coming from the upper part, and the rest of the 10 cranial nerve from 12, they are coming from the brainstem. So let's know that what is a brainstem. Brainstem is having the three parts, midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata, which is continuous later with the spinal cord. So from the brainstem, we are having the first nerve is coming out, number third cranial nerve, what we call that oculomotor nerve. At the dorsal view, we can see that the number four cranial nerve, we call that trochlear nerve. Ventral view again. We are having the number fifth cranial nerve. We call that trigeminal nerve. It's a big nerve, which is having the three parts, as we know that ophthalmic part, maxillary part, and the mandibular part. This place we got here, number six cranial nerve. We call that abducens nerve. Here we got number seven cranial nerve, what we call that fissure nerve, which is motor branch. Here we got number eight cranial nerve, we call that vestibular cochlear nerve. Here we got number nine cranial nerve, what we call that glossopharyngeal nerve. Here we got number ten cranial nerve what we call that vagus nerve. Here we got number 11 cranial nerve, what we call the excessive nerve. It's having some fibers coming from the medulla and some fibers coming from the spinal cord. Here we go, the last cranial nerve, number 12, we call that hypoglossal nerve. Thank you very much.